Hello, my name is Gary Smith and I'm a maths teacher at Pride First Love College. I uh, want to talk to you today about A-level maths. What does a course entail? Well, it carries on nicely from GCSE as far as pure maths is concerned. And we start with some familiar topics, thirds, quadratic equations, simultaneous equations, and fractional and negative indices. So you might recognise that from GCSE. We take those concepts and make them slightly more interesting slightly more complex. There are two other aspects to A-level maths. We have mechanics and we deal with the mathematics of things in motion and we use Newton's laws of motion. You might have come across those from your studies of physics at GCSE. And the final aspect of A-level maths is statistics and we take um, measures of essential tendency and spread. You'll know those as mean, median and mode and range and we add in some statistical notation and develop those ideas further. So you can see that A-level maths takes what you already know and we, and we, we take it from there. How's the course examined? Well, we have internal assessments and we call those key assessment grades or CAGs for short. And we have six CAGs over our time across the two years at Prior First Love College. At the end of two years, you do the external exam and for A-level maths, that's two pure papers and one applied paper. We use an A-level maths calculator during our A-level maths classes. It has far more functionality than the GCSE calculator. We'll explain how to use that as a course progresses. We think you'll find that really interesting. So where can A-level maths take me? Well, there's a huge shortage of mathematicians in STEM subjects. STEM being science, technology, English and maths. And you can have a great career in games design, internet security, programming or telecommunications. In addition, there are ongoing engineering opportunities that require mathematical skills, such as engineering, specifically aviation engineering, the maths around fluid and air flows, acoustic engineering, electronics or civil engineering. Where does A-level maths lead to? Well, after college, you'll find that A-level maths is a really flexible qualification. It can lead you into a workplace apprenticeship or a degree apprenticeship, and it's also useful for a whole range of university courses, um, including medicine, engineering, finance, business. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to know more, please contact us at Prior First Grove College, or alternatively, attend one of our open days or one of our taster sessions online.